Our quotation of the day comes from former President Dwight Eisenhower, who said in 1955, quote, Without God, there could be no American form of government, nor an American way of life. Joining us tonight, Pastor Robert Jeffress from the First Baptist Church of Dallas and Fox Business contributor. Pastor, great to have you with us. Uh, the Dwight uh, David Eisenhower uh, Memorial open to the public today. Uh, I want to... Uh, well, it's it was an amazing day. Give us give us your sense of its importance. Lou, when I heard those words that you quoted, it reminded me of what our sixth president, John Quincy Adams, said when he said the greatest glory of the American Revolution is that it connected in one indissoluble bond the principles of government and Christianity. Lou, you cannot study the history of our nation and deny that this was a nation founded on the Judeo-Christian faith. And the left knows this. That's why they're desperate to erase and rewrite our history. They want to try to to dissolve that indissoluble bond with Christianity because they know if they're able to do that, then they can write their own morality. As Dostoevsky said, without God, everything is permissible, is permissible. And the president knows this. That's why he is pushing back against this attempt to rewrite our history and to separate us from our Christian foundation. And uh, I, you have written a great book, by the way, The Trump Century, in which you talk about the impact of Donald J. Trump. I think when historians look back on his presidency, they're going to marvel at the fact that it took a secular real estate tycoon from New York City City named Donald J. Trump to point our nation back to its historic Judeo-Christian foundation. That is truly astounding. It is astounding. What he's accomplished is amazing and unprecedented for a first-term president. Uh, yes. Taking on taking on the 1619 project, which is a, a, a dear uh, uh, poster uh, for, the, for the left that they now embrace in schools uh, that they are trying to press, uh, which is revisionist history. It's ignorance itself, yes. not educational, uh, trying to construct this nation as oppressive rather than uh, freedom-loving and, by the way, liberty-giving. As, as a nation, no nation has ever done as much as ours uh, for the for other nations across this this globe. Uh, it, it's it, it's terrible, and to think of the uh, it, that it requires an executive order by this president to to put in place patriotic education. Our education yeah. was not so long ago patriotic. We, we knew the, the sacrifice of uh, our forebears uh, over the course of the centuries of this nation's existence, and we celebrated our heroes and our unity, and now it's the inverse. Your thoughts as we wrap up here. Well, exactly. And remember, the way the Nazis gained control of Germany was to first take control of the educational system. We can't allow that to happen in our country. And uh, we need to continue to pray for this great president and the eternal impact he's making. Pastor Robert Jefferson, as always, great to have you with us.